What is good? It's Archangel Raphael, aka Jesus Krishna, Mama, Buddha, Shiva, as well as other named deities such as Abraham's bosom, in and out the body, as well as usual. I'm here to carry out God's will, authority, purity, presence, and essence. And um, on today's video, this is the right boss, showing the right flag. Go ahead and catch it with me. And this is the astral man. I ain't never had no one to land unless it's with you. This is the family man, stretching out my right hand. Go ahead and grab on. Let's take off together. And as a universal constant being Dr. Change, I never had no one to blame. Always took a stand up for what I am. Look at this uh, moon right here. Looks like it's waxing up, polishing. Uh, wax on, wax off. <laughs> um, as usual, it's usually all of the travels that I go through that makes me get back to filming the videos. Because if I take a break for a long time, it's just because that's the progress that I'm putting in to um, get to the point where I could regularly film videos rather than, you know, have to stop because I don't want to get to that point. And if I do have to stop, it's for an entirely different reason, which then I make a video about like this <laughs> on why I stopped filming or whatever the fuck. And this, this video is for that, essentially. Um, breakdown, also taking you through um, the healing factor of what it means totally be um evolved into another place where you don't gotta worry about small little shit like getting hurt and this is a big one you would struggle with this a lot right so um okay here we go <sighs> and as life being married to karma as god being married to the universe we all individually and collectively and together make up what God is. We are not separate from God, we are God. That does not mean that I put myself in the same position of what God is because oftentimes you do have to submit. You do have to come into prayer. A lot of people say, oh, I'll never give up. I'll never submit. But that's contrary because to not submit to yourself is to not love yourself. Think about it that way. So when I say God always comes from within, that is not a lie. <laughs> so what do you think it means when, when I say that you are God, I am God, we are God? That's what that means. But the thing what happens is the reason why we spend time in isolation and solitude is so we can value the things like this, for example, where I come onto this video and begin sharing and begin da 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 coming from the ground up. No views, no nothing, no one watching. Perfect. Exactly what I need. I don't need no evil eyes on me. And I don't need haters on my page looking at me like sideways and shit, ready to crucify me on 33. Like, nah. It's all about ingraining the seven. All right? My, this is my ascendant Libra. I go full head on into the fire. With Aries, go all the way up. Bring it all the way up. But I like to bring it down, you know? Because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to bring it down, down to earth. So that way you could really get where I'm coming from. So to avoid getting hurt, right? Here's what this is about. A lot of you talk, talk about twin flame this, twin flame that. Um, you know, I leave comments on you all over YouTube, different pages and shit like that. But it's the same person. Um, usually I'll probably like, utilize this channel from now on if I'm going to do any of that which I usually won't do this on this channel because this channel is primarily exactly for um, broadcasting and really getting everything because this has an assembly of everything I've ever done I'll put into one um, so you know don't mind me if I gotta start a new Instagram or so and so whatever however I gotta work through it um, but Right now, I'm not posting like that on social media. The only social media outlet that I have is YouTube. So this video is about why that's so important to get to that place and point. Wow, birds in these hallways tweeting and stuff. <laughs> that's good. So, in your quest, to be in a stable foundation in your life, to bring it forward 
And then oftentimes you'll begin to manifest something that looks like a twin flame. It goes all the way to the point where you're tested over and over and over again. And really what happens is you become stronger as a man. If you are a man watching my channel. Um, and as a woman, what it does is, is, is makes you smarter because when you do find that man, that man is going to do nothing but make you smarter, wiser, more intelligent, even more beautiful. The man's going to bring out the best in you. Um, and deep down inside, the right woman for the right man knows this and she's going to do everything in her power to keep him, not only keep him, but value everything he values that much more. So... If this is about not getting hurt, right? This is what it means. This is about leverage. I often told my partner in the past, like, you don't have any power. I said this because true power doesn't come from, you know, and I'm lucky to have such a, I'm so grateful to have such a partner where she looks at me in this way, like, you know, I could honestly just be the devil. I could honestly be all the other people that you have eyes for but as a man when you have eyes for this one person there's so much online you know there's so many demons attacking from all areas and in, in the you know spiritual realm to the point where your soul gets so entitled with these wars and these little battles you're fighting you begin to think you are these wars and battles you forget that it's all about you so you start to plant these right seeds along your course and this is a great way I got into as I was expressing to my love partner where I got into um books like the way of the superior man in high school that really brought me in alignment and it's not like I recommend what books to read or do this or look at this anymore I more so do it um express certain things like this just to bring some in alignment um just bringing about a topic in the video is there's a reason why every video is better than the last one. There's a reason why, you know, it seems that I just get stronger and better. And I, and I always wanted to document the entire journey with you, bring you from start to finish. This, is the, this channel was the best way I could do it. So from start to finish, every single video has a purpose. Every single video is like an entire movie that you could literally walk through and go through a whole lot of things compared to, you know, if any of my previous channels, you know, being like a compilation or some shit of all of these things, this really takes you all the way there. I don't know who put their chair out right in front of that tree, in front of this lake, um, but I hope they don't come out and bother me because I really want to sit down and keep filming. <laughs> um, they got their porch light on. Hopefully they don't bother me. If they do, I'll just say, okay, I'll get up, sorry. <laughs> I don't think they'll mind though. People here are usually good, but it's, it looks like lightning struck this tree. There's a big rainstorm yesterday holy shit this thing is kind of denting in it's already broken um yeah it's already broken i didn't break it by the way the lighting is kind of iffy but <laughs> so yeah um you know really being in close in intimacy with a person relies on having full foundation and trust within yourself to be stronger and better to be as a man to provide and protect for this one person um but the demons that you're facing are all always internal, of course. So you learn to sharpen the edge of your swords to be able to face them in the external world. That way, you can be fully prepared for when the time comes of a similar past experience or something brand new. And someone that could never, you know, essentially just doing um, the way of the, the strong man, like the intelligent man, the wise man, the, the growing man, the evolving man. When, when you put yourself in the space of like, oh, I don't know how to do it because all of this pain. What happens is you dwell into creative attributes to where you can reach these goals, but they're not coming from that place of the spiritual work and enlightenment that comes from having this kind of um, union with a certain person of the opposite sex. And um, I've even created videos on this channel of like really, you know, downing LGBT and gay shit. Like, I'm not for that. So I help you to alchemize that and to really find yourself again. You know, transgender, all that bullshit, like none of that. That is not um, acquainted with anything of God. So when you go to that, that's not just because some religion said it or some book said it. I'm telling you straight from the heart as a, as a you know, individual man. I've been a woman in the past life before. So I, I can tell you in an incarnation that I chose why I chose to be a man and what it means to be a good man. And in, in order to be a great man, you have to be a good man first. 
So the evil man became a bad man, and the bad man became a good man. When once the once the good bad man became the good man, finally the good man can become the great man. But the great man, in order to ha be great, truly be a great man, needs a great woman. Period. So when you see a lot of oh legends never die, all of this shit on YouTube talking about you know all of this other shit, just understand that there might be there there might be embellishing the light of greatness, but they're not a great man. It's because a lot of men will be in this position to. And if, especially if it's a woman too, it's never going to be that. When a truly high value, intelligent, spiritual woman comes along, she can do things exactly what God can do. <laughs> and you'll be like memorized. You'll be like, holy shit, I love this person so much. I'll give you anything. I'll do anything for you. And, you know, with, the, with this submission to God comes with the submission to this person as well. So it goes hand in hand. So you, you begin to do this war you begin to fight these battles against your inner demons so you can face them in the external world and what, what begins to happen is you start to feel pain and hurt because this person is never going to stop testing you this this person is never going to stop making you evolve as a man so what it means to be so great and so important and so powerful is to truly let go of all needs and egos to be a certain character or individual hence why i would take a big break and never film again because i was probably getting caught up going to jail and stuck in some karmic shit exactly what I went through a whole bunch of times. <laughs> so you can imagine why that trauma would make me want to, you know, focus on me, on the spiritual world and not be, you know, on the internet or some shit. But I, I've been working nonstop, day stop to get to this place where I could be making videos regularly because I do want to express myself. And it actually hurts me when I don't do it. Um, and I dwell into addictions, sexual addictions, pornography, et cetera, et cetera, which my woman knows that that's, ter that's tearing down the relationship, hence why she uh, pulls away. And it, I'm telling you this rela deep, intimate relationship shit so you can know exactly how to navigate your entire fucking life. So these little things that I go through, big events are literally tied to what's happening universally and within God. So don't take any of this for granted not a single word not a single second of this video and every other video that i previously filmed because i'm not one to uh i'm not one to not toot my own horn i do <laughs> that's why i masturbate because self-love is connected to mind body and spirit why do i express it that way why do you why do i even need to tell it to you like that well because this is how you deal with not getting hurt this is this is how you empower yourself to be greater than what you were so that you could become better just so you could be the best thing possibly out there that anyone could ever possibly want so when the person the right person of the opposite sex comes along and she's that exact measure of all the love you've been giving her and, and it's shining in that you already planted the right seeds along along your journey when she helped you to fully formulate everything and construct it in a way where you could be that do that and then you're finally doing it because you've already started doing it and you realize where, where you started was where you're going to finish. And the, a place you started was so powerful, so great. And you, you tied it to yourself spiritually so well to the point where you can, it can't even leave your system. It's like automatic. It's like God taking over. It's like control. It's like boom, 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 boom. That's what God is. But, you know, you, you try to find it backwards, externally to internally through Bibles, through Qurans, through uh, going to church, going to mosque to do this and do that. At the end of the day, it's all going to be about you. Who are you? You know, you, you can learn from other people who are spiritual as well. You can listen to all the music you want. You can sit here and be like, yeah, you know, I'm all this. I'm all this. I feel like I'm on top of the world. But when you're not creating anything, you put yourself in a space where you can't even go any further. So, um, you know, I'll hear my woman call me, call me uh, blank out in the open, a bottom feeding ass rat and shit like this. And that shit stings. You know what I mean? So it's like. It makes you look deeper into yourself and realize where the where the discrepancy is coming from internally, the trauma that has been wounded and unhealed that we need to work through to fully engrave. Um, I say engrave because you have to come down to earth. So it's part of like when I when I talk about uh, the deathly hollow realms and shit like that, you know, being earth. So you don't know how to navigate through this big field of arrays of possibilities on land you can't necessarily um go anywhere you can't necessarily you know so this is what it means to be a man right it's not for a woman <laughs> and the outro is the best part because i'm really gonna say it the right way than i ever had before <laughs> so it's i'm wrapping it up um as a woman it really has to do with you know i'm going on my walk thank you for lending me a chair for a few seconds
Oh, what was there? Not there. Put your porch light on. <laughs> oh shit, look at this little tree. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna walk my way back, pull out my cigarette, get ready to smoke it, wrap up the outro. Yeah, <laughs> I brought two out, smoked one before this. So, I like to smoke weed, marijuana occasionally. Brings me into perfect alignment, not too much, just enough at the right point um, in time and space where I could really utilize it for the best attributes and priorities. Uh, pri paritary? I don't even know how the fuck to say that word. Priparatory? Priparatory? Anyways, um, propensity? Nah, that's not it. <laughs> um, that was the last try. So, um, Hold up, let me check my hair. Ooh. It's on the, uh, my hair bands, no, as you're coming off, so I might as well take it off. Yeah, um, for a woman, what it has to deal with is really, um, accepting yourself. You know, my woman, she often accepts herself to the point where she's not afraid to be her strongest, best self, even though... A lot of it came from the assistance of someone she loves, but the someone she loves is doing the same thing. And it's like you're both importing into yourselves and into each other to be independent, to be, you know, self-governed, to be godly justified, to be all of these things without the barriers, without the immoral, wicked shit. Um, you could bring things from the darkness always to light because it's not separate, you know? I was talking about it the other day. Uh, to myself and out to every spirit and soul that's listening um, i was saying oftentimes i'll just i'll just talk in the room you know just speaking to the, the universe per se or god or whatever um it's like it's like this and this goes really deep you can tell by the way i speak and the things i like take you through <laughs> and rhythmically it'll even rhyme at certain points and make you think huh did he rehearse this nah <laughs> yeah that's um that's the that's the uh empowerment of being a strong vessel um for god essentially you know allah or a you know however you want to express it um creator but not even refined to the terminologies or definitions of those words or those words alone even you know you get what i'm trying to say so as a woman it has to deal with that though is you fully going into it you know and you half-ass anything you can't have a big big fat ass <laughs> and my woman does so you know beautiful body and everything i love her inside out i love her the person she is i love how strong she is and intelligent and wise uh, i love how spiritually gifted and powerful she is um and i would have never met her had it been had it not been that that's how we met through her work um but you know i call her a demon off at times but she may as she may as well because you know every archangel needs to be her, needs to be told that as well right of course so even myself i look in the mirror like damn you're a fucking demon so this is how you alchemize the where the energy is coming from the, the 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 cycle you're stuck in and to change it and and to really flow with it into something way bigger than you probably could have ever imagined because that's exactly what you needed to go through to bring you into that place this is right boss you're on the right flight go ahead and catch it with me you hear that airplane <laughs> Uh, I already know I have to go back inside and drink some water. I'm getting dehydrated even before I made this video. <laughs> so, So essentially, this is what it has to do with being clean, inside out, pure, good, you know, righteous, all of these things. And even more than those words and more of anything what that could really mean. Um, oh, that was a bitch ass hit. Whatever. <laughs> it means getting quality of everything. So even the cigarettes I smoke, I use American Spirits because, you know, the packaging says it's just tobacco and water. But out of any other pack, 
you know, they're the cleaner option. But, you know, natural tobacco, the cleanest you can find is what you're really trying to smoke. You're not trying to smoke all them chemicals and stuff. So that gets you wrapped into doing other harder drugs with chemicals on them like Robotussin and shit, which I was drinking like literally a few days ago because I was trying to feel something. <laughs> and this shit had me in a rut. Like, <laughs> So I put it I put it in the closet because I said, nah, that's for faggots. I ain't doing that shit because <laughs> I don't need that. And if I do, you know, and it'll be given to me appropriately, but I'm not going to go ahead and use the shit uh, the low vibration of people around me are doing at the time because that's just all they know. And they're stuck in that. Like, no, I'm not going to go down with you with that shit. Hell no. Um, so, you know, be well, be more to thou. Um, make sure you love yourself. Peace, love, and abundance, health, wealth, uh, and enlightenment. I was gonna say happiness. It goes on the same though. When you know, when you, when you begin to grow, when you begin to be stronger, when you begin to become free again and be flowing into your energy and really expressing yourself freely and doing it wholeheartedly and being aligned within all your being, you're not afraid to be who you are anymore. And when you get to that space, it's just, it's, you know, man and woman are no longer separate. It's no longer Adam and Eve. It's a union. It's Alpha and Omega United. That is what Jesus Christ is. So anyways, I'm not making this video or these videos for anyone to think that I'm here to get crucified for y'all. And I've expressed, like I said, I'm not going to repeat myself too many times, but watch every single video. They're all important. Um, but that might be a part of the energy flow where I may need to express in each video for the newcomers. But <sighs> so, yeah, you know, 34, 37, all the way. That's like the AK-47. That's what it is for. <laughs> That's what the name came from. Self-defense and protection. All the way for demons. Uh, ghosts that are unknown to... <laughs> to anyone and everyone that is some wicked evil darkness shit you know they're not bringing anything to light so anyways if you're a man i'm here to lead you the right way not the wrong way if you're a woman i'm here to teach you how to take the throne of god aka my motherfucking dick and i say that with love because I want y'all to be on my dick, women. Because you should love every man that way, you know? Because when true love is given, it has no barriers. But when you have this partnership with one person, the barrier is, you've heard that song on the radio play a bunch of times. Only you can have my body, you know? It's that, it's that kind of love. So I'm feeling like I need to get a full body tattoo so... If someone ever comes along across this video and you're a tattoo artist or whatever, and you do some spiritual artwork or whatever, I need my whole entire body tattooed up. Um, so <laughs> I got to get my finances right and everything to be able to pay you and all that. But, you know, there's that. <laughs> so I'm going to keep creating, keep putting it out there, keep giving more light, um, helping y'all evolve because that's going to help me get to where I got to get to. And I'm, I'm not just doing it for that reason alone, but certain travels and, you know, this relationship I'm in, not even this relationship, this partnership I'm in, will bring me to a place of full alignment where I am changing, where I am healing, where I am fixing, where I am providing not just myself, but the world of something that'll be long term, uh, you know? So, in all levels, in all forms, stay tuned. Right Flight music coming soon, you know, Right Flight station on the way. Shout out to the whole flight squad, all the archangels, and shout out to the whole angelic force, all the angels, once demonic becoming angels with wings, and you know, angels be learning to come down and descend a little. So everyone is unified, and angels and demons are no longer separate. Light and darkness are no longer separate. Everything is one. We're all one. We're all creatures of God. We all deserve a better economy, living structure, in a way to move forward within our spiritual government um, 
within ourselves so we can truly do the work we're meant to do. There you go. I was right. So, thank you so much if you're watching. Um, I know right now there's not much viewers, but that never stopped anyone from creating. That never stopped God <laughs> having no witnesses to bring everything into existence. So, just feel me in that universal light. All right, see ya, do good. I'm gonna finish off half the cigarette that's left. Talk soon, love you, make sure you love yourself.